Hey kisses and welcome back to Nina Ready Eats. I am, okay, I'm not gonna say starving. I'm just really hungry. I have shrimp, avocado, white rice, Spanish beans with a little bit of a tropical twist. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to my avocado. I am doing the cooking video. So if you missed the cooking video where I show you how to make these beans, go ahead and Check out the playlist, Cook With Me, where I make, they're amazing. They have yellow potato, sweet potato, mushrooms, onions, peppers, scallop. Go check out the recipe, they're amazing. All right, let's taste this. See what I'm saying? Girl, I'm on to something. Try it. Try it. I gave you the whole recipe. Oh, yeah. I'm sure this ain't hot. <clears throat> I have sweet plantain that I roasted in the oven. Baby. Oh, by the way, my casserole, my plates, my forks, my knife, my cup, my salt and pepper shaker. The food tray in the back, pots, pans, everything is from Amazon. The storefront is now up. The link is in the description. But I have a trash can down there, so also from Amazon. I feel like Amazon rescued my life. Mmm. This is so good. So I wanna bring eating back to the basics. Like, I'm really, I'm, instead of trying to create videos for YouTube, I really just wanna show you guys how I really, like how I really wanna eat and how I really do eat, you know what I mean? Because I love sweet plants and like this. They're, first of all, hot. <laughs> and they're sweet and creamy. Like, how do you not enjoy this? And all you have to do is put it in the oven. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. And you can't say, I don't know how to make it because I made a whole video just for you to cook along. Not cook alone, cook along. <laughs> sometimes my act, sometimes my accent comes out sounds funny. Mm. How am I so lucky? I love home cooked meals. I love to cook, and I love making my cooking videos for you guys like it's actually bringing me true joy mm. I'm a happy girl very simple If I, mm, yeah, I'm gonna do it with the with the coconut oil next time instead of the olive oil. Cause I'm like, I want more of that Caribbean taste. Mm. So let me ask you an honest question. Why don't you cook at home? For those of you who don't, of course there's a ton of reasons on why you don't cook at home, but why don't you cook at home? Like, why don't you do it? Mm. 
It's so satisfying. It tastes good. It's simple. The beans might be a little complex for some people because they're like, oh my God, so many seasonings. So instead of getting a bunch of seasonings, go through your pantry, check off the seasonings that you do have, and then get the ones that you don't. Mm. And that's why I get the big ones when I cook because they're gonna last me forever. Well, not forever, but a long time. I'm just so satisfied. Mm. I feel like I have little gadgets, gadgets around my house that make life easier. Like the little rice cooker, I'm saying to myself, that's very handy. You just add water, salt, a little bit of coconut oil or butter and just close it and walk away. Turn it on and then walk away. And then it just makes it warm and holds it and keeps it warm for you. I'm like, yo. Like, who came up with that? Because I remember when I used to make rice, I'm just saying I'm grateful. Because I remember when I used to make rice, where you take the pot and you add the water and the salt and the oil, wait for that to come to a boil, and then add the rice, wait for the water to reduce down till it had the little bubbles on top, cover it with aluminum foil, then cover the top. Let that cook for about 20 minutes, then turn it once, and then let that cook again for another 20, 30 minutes, and then you have the perfect rice. So when I found out, and I know it's gonna sound childish, but years ago, when I first found out that there was a device that could basically cook for me, I'm like, wait, hold on. This is, it sounds silly as I'm saying it, but it's true, so I'm like, wait, so you mean to tell me that I'm gonna put rice in this, into this little thing right here? And I'm gonna press this button and walk away. And when I come back, the rice is gonna be done and it's gonna be perfect every single time I couldn't believe it. I was in love with technology. Everybody got a rice cooker now. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing crazy. But when I first found out about it, like a lot of people are, you know, born now and iPhones are like a thing. Everyone has an iPhone, like it's no big deal. Like whatever, it's an iPhone. I'm like, I remember when iPhones did not exist. Like, do you understand what I'm saying to you? I remember when they did not exist. Okay, so that's a thing. <laughs> it's an actual thing. Listen, this orange pepper and lime chile shrimp, bomb. I just got a little bit of that zing. I'm like, okay, I like it. I remember, baby, cell phones weren't even a thing. I'm like, what is this? I remember thinking, is this the future? <laughs> you mean the Jetsons are real? That's the name of the show, right? The Jetsons or the Jeffersons? The Jetsons. It was a cartoon. I was like, oh my God. I'm like, I hope I live to see it. Fast forward. Years later. I remember when 
you know how you're in your car now and it'll tell you <laughs> you have to make a left you have to make a right you know it'll tell you that it'll give you directions it'll show you where the gas stations are well back in my day <laughs> it was a show and it was called night rider who knows the show night rider it was a talking car it was a black talking car okay it was in the movies it wasn't even a real thing and now everybody's got or 90 percent of, of cars talk now Hmm. that's so like it's amazing to be able to witness that type of growth you know what i'm saying i think it's so cool i can't wait to see what 10 years from now what kind of advances technology is gonna have hmm Have you guys seen the movie Free Guy? I'm like, really? You're gonna be able to put on some glasses and just see like advertisements, basically. So in every corner and it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be insane. Hmm. I read a comment that said, why do you keep looking around? And I'm like, because there's windows. <laughs> I'm like, I'm feeling so, I guess, I guess the word is relaxed. Hmm. And I invest a lot of time sitting in my gratefulness. I'm grateful. Hmm. When I look around, I have thoughts like, you know, what all of life has been like, like, I don't want to say like flashbacks, not like flashbacks, but I start having like thoughts and memories like, wow. I remember when it wasn't this peaceful. I remember when it wasn't this, you know? So I love like a peaceful setting. I love it. This food was amazing. And I think I really am going to finish this planting. Good thing I didn't make two. Because I was going to make two. <clears throat> and I would have ate them. Maybe not all in one sitting. But eventually throughout the day I probably would have ate it. So. I'm only, I'm only eating once a day. And then I make juices the rest of the day. If I do get hungry. I do make a smoothie or something like that. But I won't have another solid meal. Nothing that I have to chew. So a smoothie or a juice. I want to find like really healthy yogurt, but that I love. I mean, I found yogurt that I like, but I don't know if it's like super healthy because it tastes so good. <laughs> and it's made with coconut milk. So... I'm like, is this really healthy for me? Mm. This was amazing. I'm very, very satisfied. I'm thinking, should I add a little bit more rice and finish this? But then I'm like, no, because then I'm going to be too full. By the way, this is lipstick on my straw. And 
and I've been trying to do five of these a day, like one every couple hours. And I've been able to successfully do like two or three, like faithfully. Like I'm, I know that I'm gonna drink two or three of these. And then I also notice, like I keep it beside my bed when I'm sleeping. Like if I get thirsty, I just drink water. So if I count it in the 24 hours, then I would say like three and a half. Maybe if I cut out one of the juices that I'm doing, I can drink more water. So I guess I'm just making sure to share a little bit more of the, I guess, what's it called? What, what would I call it? What would I call it? Not everything is hectic all the time. And there are times where you just have those moments where you could just, you know, write in your diary and meditate and take a nice long shower and add, you know, Epsom salt to it or um, a bath, what's it called, a bath bomb. Those are good. Light a candle. Basically, like, love on yourself. It takes effort. And it takes time. And it's time that you consciously do not give to other people. Excuse me. So, I've noticed that. It's a peaceful place to be mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It's a very peaceful place to be. I'm learning things about myself that some things have been reinforced. Like, yes, okay, that's so much a part of my identity. Like, I love things to be organized. And I love, you know, white furniture with great accents. There's this common theme <laughs> in every single place that I've ever lived where it's very clean it's almost like it looks like a model home you know like does anyone live there because it's so clean and meticulous and put together and organized and I love that I love the, the simple things I love technology that I do love and I love the thought of, well, maybe I'll just keep that one to myself. But it's nice to just take a breather. I think sometimes we just need to take a breather. And everyone deserves that. Everyone in life deserves to just take a moment, take a beat, rest, relax. Just take a moment. And when you do that, you empower yourself to live and feel happy and healthy. Peace of mind is something that it's a true gift. Peace of mind is a true gift. I will say that. It is a true gift and not many people get handed that gift. It is something to be cherished and respected to be able to be aware to the point where you know that you must be grateful. You must. You must be grateful. Absolutely, you should sit in your gratefulness. Take 10 minutes out of your day to say thank you for everything. And 
I believe that a lot of us have the techniques to problem solve and do better and be better. You have to make the choice. Every day we make choices. You must choose yourself. You must choose to love yourself. You must choose to you must choose happiness. Whatever is in your life or whoever is in your life that's not making you happy, genuinely happy, if it's a job or a relationship or you know mental emotionally financial whatever it is that's not making you happy when you wake up tomorrow morning make a different choice and give that opportunity to that choice and try that choice for 30 days and in 30 days that didn't work make another choice and try that for 30 days until you find the choices that best suit you. And then before you know it, you no longer have worry, drama, gossip, fear. It all goes away. And you start to gain things like confidence, self-esteem, respect. You gain those things. But you have to let go of the heavy weight that you're carrying overall because you can't carry anger and hatred and animosity and rage and jealousy. You can't carry all those feelings and also carry love and peace and harmony and understanding and comprehension, being able to understand and comprehend being able to process, being able to make healthy choices. You have to let go of the other weight because, you know, it's the yin to the yang. The positive weighs just as much as the negative. Where there's a positive, there's a negative. Where there's a yin, there's a yang. Where there's a yes, there's a no. So you must choose that balance and then make more choices to lean you towards the side that's going to make you the happiest. So I hope that that message resonates with you if you are the person that left the comment. And everything we do in life is a choice. Everything we do in life is a choice. So... Yeah. Stay positive. Stay strong. And until next time, kisses. Bye, guys. Bye.